Hi, I'm Spencer. And I'm Danny. And this is the Fur Trade <laughs> Trade Game. <laughs> so, to start the game, everyone chooses a character. I want the You're horse. The, no. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> to see who goes first, everyone must roll the die. Two. Two. Six. Five, four. Three. So Kirsten will go first. Yay. And she will roll the die. Six. six. So Kirsten is the buffalo, so we'll move Kirsten six spaces. Oh, One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> now that the first person has landing on, landed on a trading post, or if they have gotten a red or a yellow correct. First, let's explain the cards. Okay, so if you land on a red square, you get a hard question. And if you answer the question wrong, you must move back three spaces. If you land on a yellow, you get a medium question. If you answer the medium question wrong, you move back two spaces. And then if you land on a green, you get an easy question. And if you answer an easy question wrong, you move back one space. And for red and yellow, if you get them correct, you get one trading card. And at the end of the game, everyone has their um, trading thing, trading cards. Well, not trading cards, but trading charts that they need to have all the things in order to win the game. So on every blue square, you can either you get one trading card, and you can either trade with one of your other players, or you can just collect another one. If you would like to trade with players, they must be on a blue square or at the end of the game. And the orange squares are just squares. <laughs> they're just there. Yeah, they're fabulous. They're there to just, just make you question everything. Yeah. Okay. Here, Julia will now go. Six. Hallelujah. Oh, so, Kirsten and Julia are both on a trading post, so Julia gets a metal tool. And Kirsten gets an animal skin. Yeah. If Ian, even if I need an animal skin, is animal skin the same as fur? No. 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 Okay. Sure. But does she have something Let's that he wants? No. Thank you. Usually, you're so, you want to try and make a fair trade. So let's say Kirsten was the European explorer and she needed metal tools, and Julia was the buffalo and she needed animal skin. The horse. But let's say you were the buffalo. But the buffalo doesn't need animal skin. <laughs> then you, you could make a fair trade. The buffalo doesn't need animal skin. Yay. At the end of the game, you receive two furs and you can or trade. two trading cards. Yeah, two trading cards. Oh, thank and you. you may trade. Oh. Now we will demonstrate how to trade. Julia and Kirsten will demonstrate for you. First, let's read out what they need. So Kirsten is the buffalo. She needs fur, horns, bones, and grass. And Julia is the horse. She needs wheat, a saddle, a wagon, and animal skin. Usually you will have more than only three, but for demonstration, we are going to use three. I would like a saddle. saddle. You have a saddle. I do have a saddle. Kind of like goldfish. <laughs> okay, uh, what do you need? Um, nothing you have. Thank you. <laughs> so, now give me when, no, in instances like this, Julia can put one of her the trading cards she has now back in the pile and grab the next one that's on top. I have a fur. Do you need a fur? I need a fur. Oh, give me my fur. Oh, thank you. Thanks for making doing business with you. Yay! And if Spencer <laughs> and I also have, we can trade, and then it will be easier. Whoever has everything that they need on the list or the most of what they need wins the game. Bye! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>